Yes. Yeah, it's, it's me. The coolest person on this planet. That's my YouTube. Yay! YouTube. I decided that I'm going to start a YouTube. So that is what we're here doing. So I think I'm going to make this channel like one doing stupid stuff that I shouldn't be doing because I'm already paralyzed, but. <laughs> already paralyzed, so like, might as well do it anyways. And then also like traveling and stuff like that because like with my level of injury it's like super super complicated to try and travel just because there's like a lot of stuff that goes into it because like you see it on tiktok but like it's just not no you don't like really see like the depth and like obviously i can post like more in-depth things of like how i do things and how i live my life and like who i am so i figured that's what we're doing here today but um to give some backstory for those of you, like more backstory, because I just gave you backstory, but like a little bit more backstory. I broke my neck, which is why I'm now in a wheelchair. No, I don't have a disability. Anyways, I was going to Florida State. I think I said that, but. And then I went to go visit one of my friends in Florida, and we went on my on a boat with like a bunch of other friends that were, I also had known from like fifth grade because I'm from Naples, and like that's where I was when I went to go visit them. Um. We were, yeah, we were chilling on the boat, and then we parked to swim, but for some reason, like, the water was super shallow, and I don't really know, like, it was a sandbar, so, like, that's, like, a really, really shallow, like, portion of water, and I used to be a swimmer, so I was like, shoot, I'm gonna show off and, like, do my little dive, I literally was, like, doing a dolphin dive, like, arms up, like, meow, and then, like, snap my neck, and, like, imagine a broomstick with, like, a bowling ball taped to it, the duct tape, that was literally my neck, because it was, like, completely severed, and so it was, like, just flopping around like this, like, literally, it was kind of, kind of nasty. Sounds painful, but like immediately it was like nothing was like hurting and immediately it was just like tingles and like couldn't move anything But yeah, now I'm living my best life. Um, I went home for a few months and I Like didn't really get to do much just because I didn't have like that support system really that could like spend a bunch of time with me and like do rehab things and like like Take me out if that makes sense. So Now I love my physical therapist in <laughs> my TikTok or Instagram, like you know who she is, um, and her husband, who's a creative director, and he's behind the scenes, so he kind of like films a lot of cool stuff that we do. So he's always like the man with the camera. I was well. Like studying in school now, so like I'm doing great. Like I'm gonna be a psychologist. Like I'm taking classes at Georgia State. I have like two more years left, and then I'm also like gonna start mentoring people who like just broke their necks. So just like a little update, a little life update. And I started the swim team. It's kind of like hilarious to watch like like someone swim who has like no control over their body i started doing that and yeah we're just kind of like seeing where life goes but i'm vibing chilling oh and also be very patient with me because i have no idea how to do any of this video editing and recording and my hands literally do not work so like the buttons are very very difficult but yeah I'm just gonna like make this like little like my journal diary of like progress and like see where I'm at. Okay, so as I was editing, I realized that I kind of like blew over that really really quickly. So, um, what if go, I'm gonna tell you guys about this thing while I make some iced coffee, um, about that whole situation. Do I regret it? That's like the big one that I always get asked all the time. No, I don't regret it. I really don't. Oh no, there's no way that's true. Blah blah. But like honestly. Honestly, y'all, it slightly is true. I mean, you're like, why wouldn't you regret that? Your life's fucking ruined, right? Blah, 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 blah. But, it's really not. So, yeah, it's lovely. Lovely on the milk phone. So, no, I don't regret it. But yeah, I don't regret it because it's like taught me who my real people are. That's the one benefit to snapping your neck is you find out who your people really are. Because so, like a near-death experience, like, changed my entire view on like, the world in general. I just like to see things very differently. I'm like, you know? I don't know. It's all very like, it's all very circumstantial. Well, well yeah, I don't know. I think everything happens for a reason. There's obviously a purpose. Purpose for like why I broke my neck and like where I was at and where I'm at now. I need to go to therapy, but. There's this thing called like a grieving process when you get paralyzed. And it's almost like you're grieving like the death of like your old life and like your old body, which is like kind of weird to think about.
Sorry, I need a total focus for that. Yeah, so anyways, you grieve, like, the death of yourself, kind of, and, like, so the first stage is, like, denial, this isn't happening to me, and the second stage is anger, like, or, second stage is anger, like, why me? And then the next stage after that is bargaining, like, God, or, if I eat this, or if I do this, maybe I'll walk again, blah, blah, which, like, 3% chance of recovery, like, I'm, I'm done. I have a major disability. A major disability, you know? And everyone goes through these processes at different points in time. And then there's depression. Um, I also throw in this other stage called like the testing phase, which comes after depression. So there's depression, obviously you're depressed, like you're like, shit, I'm never walking again, my life's over, blah, 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 whatever. Then um, the testing phase where you try to see like what this new life is going to be like. So yeah, and that's the testing phase is acceptance, where you're like, this is my life, learn to love the things that you love. So, anyways, or learn to love the things that you can do, not what you can't do. Try to enjoy the little things, like this nice coffee that I literally just made myself. But, but thanks for watching, thanks for- oh, and if you're from TikTok, thank you guys for being like the best people ever, and like supporting me and loving me, because it's literally made me stay so positive after yeah so thanks okay okay bye see you guys next time